This is the effects of multiplication by the powers of 10. We're going to take 23 10 times. There's 23 1 time. Twenty-three two times, twenty-three ten times. Then I would invite the student to begin exchanging ten units for one ten. Then they would begin exchanging their tens, ten tens for one hundred. That leaves us with two hundred thirty. We would record our answer. 23 multiplied 10 times is 230. I could ask the student if they saw anything happening. They might point out that we added a zero to the 23. I would take another example. 2 and 3 tenths multiplied 10 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 10 times. Again, I would ask the students to exchange, this time, 10 tenths for one unit. Similar to our last equation, the power of 10 has moved our decimal place one time to the right. I would work with the student to get them to state the rule or the effects of multiplication by the powers of 10, that when multiplying by a factor of 10, you would move the decimal place as many places to the right as we have zeros in the multiplier.